Everybody, welcome back to another episode of Falcon Plays, uh... <laughs> I was about to call it Neil Scavenger. Wrong game, Falcon. Project Zomboid, though. Uh, welcome back to Project Zomboid, guys. Um, 10.20, it's a bad time. I overslept a little bit with Barbara. I think it's because I exhausted myself so much last episode. I woke up, like, around 9.30. I was doing some little bit of arranging upstairs. But now I'm downstairs, which is the other part of our arrangement. And because this episode, or at least because I started up so late... Instead of just uh, starting up the episode when we start, exp you know, going out and doing our thing, I figured I'd start it a little bit earlier so you guys don't feel like this episode's gonna be too short and, you know, rob you of, like, you know, possible shenanigans and shit that I'll do incorrectly that you guys could yell at me about. So, you know, I'll keep that all in mind as I do this over here. Empty notebook I should have put upstairs along with the sheets. Now, we do have one more window that we have to close up, if I do remember correctly, which should be this one. And we'll add a sheet right here and close it off with a curtain. Alrighty, perfect. I'm really upset that there's no goddamn bookcase down here. It's really a pain in the ass in reality. I'm not going to lie. It's a pain in the ass. What can I... Can I use this for something? You know, upstairs is where I have my pills, so we might as well use this, this for, um, I don't know. What can we use this for? Um... Uh, I don't even know. Painkiller should go upstairs. Shit. I don't know what to put in here, man. See, what's in the school bag? Oh, food, right. So let's actually deposit the dry foods first. I know I'm getting thirsty there, and I'm overweight. <laughs> in game, I, I hope. I mean, uh, you know, you're you are what you you eat. You know, I'm not necessarily the healthiest eater, but then again, I rarely eat. That's the reason why I'm so unhealthy. But it's besides the point. So we're gonna fill this up with water. Understandable. We'll put this tea bag in here as well. Let's go over here and fill up empty mug, and fill empty mug. Huh? Are all these already filled? Cooking pot. Hmm. Interesting. Alright. Not gonna question it, but usually it lets me fill those up with well. So, cooking pot, huh? Alright, I guess I'll just put you here for now since you're not letting me... Oh, unless there's because there's two of them? No, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, see, a full kettle. Why won't you let me fill up the, the thing? Does it have to be outside of the bag? Are you gonna be that facetious about the whole thing? I think it does. I think I should know this by now, too. Yep. <laughs> God damn it. Such a little knacky thing. It's like, really, don't make me have to go through that. All right, let's, uh, cooking pots. Give me these back. God damn it. Yeah, you go outside of the bag, too. Go outside of the bag. There we go. So fill the cooking pot up. This is going to take a little bit more time, unfortunately, but it's understandable. Look, it's already 12 o'clock. Like, all of our days is gone. I wanted to go out there and find, like, an actual adequate weapon. I'm going to use the extra hammer that I found just because I already have one in our little shed, so that's going to be good. But at the same time, where is all of our water stuff now? Pot of water go in there. Mug of water go in there. Hopefully soon. Bowl of waters go in there. Okay, full kettle in there as well. Yeah, no, I got to do a lot of rearrangement. It's really unfortunate. I feel like I'm wasting my whole day here right now, but... You know, my OCD won't let me, like, leave the house if, unless everything is, like, you know, properly secured. And it's not. Let's be real right now. It's not properly secured. Where are my tablets at? Right here, huh? Okay. So we'll do painkillers in here. You know what? Since cigarettes, it seems like a little bit of an oxymoron being with, like, you know, medicine. But they kind of work to alleviate stress and things like that. So might as well keep them together, right? And empty notebook. That should go in my room over here. That takes care of unhappy Barbara. So cooking for beginners go in there. Along with the empty notebook. The sheets, I feel that we don't need them at this point anymore. We have more than enough. Is that it? Okay, that's pretty much it. So with the sheets being no longer a concern, could I use these to... Yeah. Let me get myself an extra... A few extra... Uh, let's get some bandages as well. That's not a bad idea. Let me... um. Interesting. I wanted to set up another uh, escape route from here, but it's not letting me. Only that one, huh? That's pretty interesting. I thought I have like two uh, sheets of rope. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure why it's not letting me put the sheet of rope here. I mean, it let me do it over here. That's interesting. Okay, whatever. I'm not going to question it. Um, I guess the bandages could probably just go in the actual first aid area that I have going on over here. So you go in there and hang out. And then sheets of rope could basically find their use um, over here. This is my trash can area, as you can see. 
pearl necklace I grabbed just for the sake of it. I don't think you can wear this though, can you? Nah. Alrighty. Enough messing around. I guess I can't use it, so whatever. Alright, look at that. Two o'clock already. Jesus Christ. I apologize, guys, for the um, slow episode at this point because we're going to just go out and have to come back in relatively soon. But I didn't want to rob an extra day from the life of Barb from you as well. I thought that'd be, like, kind of shitty. Frying pan. Okay. So we're almost out of here. Let's just uh, drink some water. I don't have a mug anymore, do I? No. That's not good. So, ba -ba -ba. let me grab one of these guys. We need some food as well. Eat this cabbage. And we'll also eat the corn. Okay. And we're drowsy, huh? I need to lie down. Interesting. Interesting concept indeed. I can't do that right now, Dobar, because we have to go out. It's too early just yet. I'll try to get you back home soon, though. How about that? We'll compensate a bit here, right? You work with me, I work with you. Let's see about actually getting a hammer, or not a hammer, but a baseball bat at the very least in this episode. Although the hammer works out pretty good as well. Can't really fault that. Alright. So, let's find out what's happening in this house. Seems like they have like a blue screen in there or something. What are you guys, like actors or some shit? Um, let's open this up. So remember, we're up one street. Our, our, our old home base used to be like somewhere down over here where I'm waggling my, uh... <laughs> Oh, God! Of course, again. Of course, again. Oh, here they come. Oh, what's that over there? Noise? I want to go and find out. Why are you guys so noisy? Or, not noisy, but so nosy. It's the difference from noisy. Apparently a hammer isn't enough to take her down anymore. What about you, zombie man? Zombie man. It's like, swing properly here, Falcon? Okay. Pretty good. Um, anything of interest on this woman's body? Not particularly. What about this dude? Nope. Oh wow, look at that. Look at this mess over here. <laughs> oh god. The, the shitty thing about it is I kind of lured them to my place too. They're so nearby. So I'm gonna have to take these guys out one at a time. Thankfully, they're gonna be pretty dumb about the whole thing and let me do it, except this guy. I don't think he took really, uh, he took pretty much offense to me calling him dumb, apparently. Even if he's dead, he still has feelings, you know, Falcon. Jerk. Let's see what this guy's problem is. A little bit drunk there, intoxicated, huh, zombie man? Alright. Let's see, anything of interest? Wedding ring? Ah, oh, it's a heartbreak story in reality. You were just probably trying to get back to your wife, and then, you know, you got bitten or something. Or maybe, maybe your wife bit you. Maybe that's a little bit of irony right there, huh? Trying to get to your loved one, and then your loved one does you, does you in. Speaking of doing people in... Oh, speaking of people doing people in, the last thing I want to do is actually break that window, but okay. <laughs> oh god. I did what I did, now I have to live with it. This guy dead? Did I just like one hit knock this guy out? Oh no, I didn't! I felt like I was Mike Tyson there suddenly, just one hit kills, baby. Alright, he's dead now. Hey, um, guys, you want to come back out here? Yeah? <laughs> There's nothing in there for you, right, zombies? You don't you don't gain benefits from breaking into houses and looting because you can't loot. Now, do I want to come in here? I kind of don't, but I kind of do. Boom! Get off the sack, bro. All right. So regardless of which, we want to loot this area. And before I go back, let's actually take all the food with us. So we have at least one part of the equation down from this area at the least, because I, I want to come back here and check out the upstairs, obviously. Let's just grab the important stuff, though, at this point. Uh, kettle's going to be important. Everything else kind of... Oh, sugar and TV dinner, I guess, we'll take as well. And what's in this one? Bowl we'll take. We'll take chips, cooking pod, old garbage bag, potato seeds. Everything else could kind of go fuck itself. What about here? Canned soup, empty mug, and garbage bag. Okay, one more? Yeah, uh, canned soup, do the chips for sure, peanut butter, can't have the peanut butter without the jelly though, man, where's the jelly at? They should really add jelly to this game. I'm aware that the, that the developers are like, you know, from overseas, like, you know, they're British and stuff, but like, you know, for us, you know, lowly Americans, you need to give us some jelly with the peanut butter, man. I can't have peanut butter without the jelly. Pretty much, um, if you watch, uh, Friday, you know, you got some peanut butter but no jelly, you ain't never got two things that match. 
That was my best impersonation of a really rambunctious black man. I hope it's not offensive. It's not meant to be. That says how he talks, right? It's the character that he played, Chris Tucker. You know, Chris Tucker himself is a character, though, so I guess I'm being a little bit redundant by saying that. But, you know, that was my best impression of it. Really bad, I know, but hey. You know, we're not all, you know, superly talented over here, okay? <laughs> Alright, so let's find out about categorizing this and calling it a night really shortly here. How about we do... Where's my food section, man? There you go. So, corn, you go in there. Along with the peas. Get the, along with the grapes. You got the radish. You got the peas. Mm -mm. I feel like I'm bordering, like, on a level that I shouldn't be doing right now. And it's all, like... Subliminally, like, I don't feel it's offensive, but I, for some reason at the same time, I feel that, you know, touchy people would get offended by it. I'm not even sure why. Um, now correct me if I'm wrong, shouldn't TV dinners go in the fridge? I mean, to my understanding, they should. I mean, that's why they're frozen, right? right I'm gonna have them out there with my dry food, so that's probably a bad idea. Did I just forget common sense? Do I not know how microwaves work anymore? It could be. And let's see, it's 7 o'clock now, so let's fill the kettle... And fill the bowl, fill the cooking pod. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Stop, stop trying to fill me and fill me. There we go, and let's do the empty mug now. Excellent. So we could probably put most of this stuff away if I could find a proper container for it, which is right there. Do the pot of water and the bowl of water. And I would love to just, like, you know, grab one of these, not all of them. Great. Okay. Garbage bag, mug of water, and then strawberry seeds could go in here along with this. So we need, uh, we need an axe. <laughs> I, I'm sure you. I'm not quoting Gimli. All right, I'm not setting off to like you know throw the ring into the, uh, the volcano here, into Mordor or anything like that. But we do need an axe, and we do also need um, what is it? I just had it on the tip of my tongue and I forgot about it. We need an axe. <laughs> I don't know what I had in a tip of my tongue. I forgot it, man. I, I don't know. Sometimes you just forget. Especially me. I forget a lot. Sign of old age. Alrighty. And garbage bag go in here. Okay. Mug of water we hold on to. Sugar should have been dropped off in the dry food section. I don't know why I didn't do that. I act like I've never worked, uh, you know, retail before. Come on, Val. Newspaper upstairs. Frying pan. You know what? Frying pan. I don't even need you. Just uh, as a sign of disrespect, let me put you on the floor. In there. That's me uh, moving on up to the east side and, you know, no more frying pans. So let's go to sleep now, just because, um, you know, she's over here about to pass out. Can't really have that happening. So again, sorry for the shorter episodes, guys. Um, hopefully I have a better startup time next episode and we can finally go out. And again, we need to find a bit more, I guess, items to save up and store up before we go towards... Uh, Let's see, from this perspective, we're going to go going west to the warehouse and hopefully find an axe and a few more items to start getting the carpentry thing up and running and all that other good stuff. So either way, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you did, I encourage you to leave a like, leave a thumbs up. The support always does mean a lot. And once again, I'll catch you guys next time.